One of the most powerful features in Vue 3 is the ability to extract code into reusable functions called composables. And an important part of extracting this logic is maintaining reactivity throughout your app. And there's one powerful method that really helps with this, and that's two refs. Two refs takes a reactive object and converts it to a plain object where each property is reactive. So let's take a look at this in action. Let's create a constant called useUser and set it equal to a function. Then we can import ref and two refs from Vue and start building out our state. We can say const user ref, and we'll just give it two properties, one with name, and I'll set that to my name, and one for website, and we'll set it to learnview.co. So let's take a step back and see what this is doing. This creates one reactive object that contains two properties. But let's say, for example, that we wanted access to each of our properties. So we'll destructure it and say const name website equals user. If we change our name and then log user.name, we'll see that it doesn't actually change. And that's because name isn't reactive. And this is where two refs comes in. If we instead destructure two refs user.value and dot value is important here because we're using ref. And if you're wondering why I'm not using reactive, make sure to check out my video from earlier this week that explains why I prefer ref to reactive. So now if we change our name.value, then our user.value.name will also be our new value. And likewise, if we change the value of website using our user object, then our destructured ref will be kept up to date. And this is another reason why I like using value because even in this example, we can see exactly what's reactive. So if you're wondering how this helps the reusability of our code, let's say that we exported this entire use user function into its own separate class. And then let's clear out everything but our user ref. We can create a reset name method that clears our name. And then to make things available to other parts of our app, we want to export our method and our user data. But then to make sure that our object can be destructured and maintain reactivity, we're going to export two refs of user.value. Inside any view component, we can import the specific properties that we need. In addition to this, there's a singular to ref value where instead of turning every property into a reactive ref, we could specify an individual property on our object that we want to turn into a reactive ref. So that's all for this video. I hope it helped. And if it did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more free view content.